Well, it's the off season for NASCAR here in the United States, but over in Australia, the supercar season is still going on. Uh, why are we talking about the supercar season, you may ask? Well, we're going to talk about New Zealand's own Shane Van Gisbergen. Coming over to NASCAR next year, already came over to NASCAR this year, actually. He won his first ever start, the Chicago Street Race. He then followed up by running in the Truck Series race at IRP, his first oval start, and then, of course, ran once again in the Cup Series at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course. Well, SVG had so much fun in NASCAR, he wants to pursue it as a career. He's had a lot of success in the Supercar Series. He's won multiple championships, almost 80 races, I want to say. He's done it all over there. And now he wants to come over to the United States and make some more history just in a different racing series. Well, it was announced back in, I want to say, September that SVG would be a part of a developmental deal with Trackhouse Racing, the team that he won at Chicago with. He would be running Xfinity Cup and, of course, the Truck Series as well across all three series through Trackhouse. So Trackhouse would help set him up with the different teams in the lower series and would most likely run him in the Cup Series in their Project 91 car, if I had to guess, if not one of their Cup cars. Well, there's some more details that have come out. Uh, Shane Van Gisbergen did an interview with SpeedCafe.com, and I'm just going to read some of his quotes and then talk about Trackhouse's future, SVG's future, and NASCAR, all that, because there's complicated things, and then some of the things here. So it discusses, obviously, his plans for next year doing Cup, Xfinity, Truck Series, uh, but then it says, it gives some of his quotes. It sounds like I'm going to be doing a lot of races, the New Zealander told Speed Cafe. When they said that it's be a part-time schedule, maybe 20 races, you know, it's more than what we do here full-time. I want to get as much experience as I can and hopefully be in the Cup Series in 25, meaning 2025. Van Gisbergen would confirm that his comment referred to full-time cup competition. He also advised that he is likely to make the move to the USA in mid-December, which would be around two to three weeks after the supercar season finale at the Velo, I don't know if I pronounced that right, Adelaide 500. The three-time Bathurst 1000 winner has three NASCAR starts under his belt so far, two in the tr cup series and one in the truck series. Um, so yes, there's a couple of things I want to talk about there. Um, the first one, obviously, he's making his climb into the NASCAR world, and he obviously took the world by storm very quick by winning his first start. Now, one of the things we've talked about in previous videos for SVG is that one of the big things is the transition for him. Look, we have seen what he can do in a car, first of all, in supercars, but also what he can do in a NASCAR car. He won his first start. Yeah, it was, you know, it was a difficult race, though. Changing conditions. It was the first ever street course in NASCAR. SVG has street course experience. The guy can drive. There's no question about it. He also got a top 10 at Indy. But the fact of the matter is, is that... When it comes to more of a season, he's going to be doing more oval races. I think there's going to be some change there for him. He's going to have to adapt and learn in that area. And in the truck series race, he didn't do too bad. He kept it clean. I think he got a top 20, maybe a top 25. I can't remember where he finished, but he, he did a solid job. Now, when it comes to running more races and in different styles of cars and trucks with the truck series, the Xfinity and Cup, three very different vehicles, um, he's going to have to adapt some, but it's going to be really good for him to learn. And then obviously another big transition that I've talked about before is the move itself. He is moving to Aust from Australia to the United States. That is at least a 12 hour time differential. It's on a different hemisphere. So the seasons are different. I don't know how that messes with the human mind, the human body, but it's going to be a massive change. There was no question it's going to be a massive change, but coming to the U.S. in December, it's going to give him some time to adapt. I don't know if he's going to be racing the first weekend out at Daytona in the Daytona 500 or Xfinity or Trucks, but if he does come out the gate swinging, you know, first race of the season, he's going to have some time to transition, and even if he waits till March, he's going to have some time to transition, to get used to things, to get used to life in the U.S., 
living in the U.S., getting comfortable wherever he is based, which would most likely be Charlotte, North Carolina, because that's where most of the teams are based, and that's where Trackhouse's team is based. So um, as for the whole 2025 Cup Series thing, it's a realistic possibility, I think, uh, in terms of his skill set. That is not in question at all right now, obviously. As I said, all the success he's had in supercars, all the success he's had in only three NASCAR starts, he's going to be a threat to win at every road course he goes to in the Cup Series. He's got the skill. He'll mo more than likely have the car if he's with Trackhouse next year. The problem is not in his control. It's Trackhouse. Trackhouse only has two charters. For those who don't know, the charter system is a system in NASCAR where if you are a NASCAR Cup Series team, you have to have a charter to be guaranteed a spot in every single race. So all 38 events, all 36 points paying events. Trackhouse has two charters currently, and both of those charters are driven by guys with multi-year contracts, Ross Chastain and Daniel Suarez. Also within the Trackhouse family is Zane Smith. Zane Smith is under contract with Trackhouse, but his, he is being leased out to Spire Motorsports, another Chevrolet team that is currently not Trackhouse. I, I don't know how else to say it. They are not Trackhouse, straight up. <laughs> uh, so Zane Smith is under the Trackhouse house. That works out well. Uh, but so is SVG. So they have two charters currently. Charters are expensive. In fact, Spire to get the charter so that they could lease Zane Smith and that they could get Zane Smith into the third Spire car. They spent $40 million to get that charter. So charters are going for a lot of money right now. And Trackhouse only has two. They've got two guys on multi-year contracts. I don't think they plan on getting rid of e either one of these drivers. Ross Chastain, they are definitely not getting rid of. Chastain has won multiple races in both years. He's been at Trackhouse. He's made it to a championship four race. Suarez has won a race. I don't think they're getting rid of him anytime soon. So you've got two guys under contract with Trackhouse. One of them is a young up-and-coming NASCAR driver. The other one, an international driver, very talented, looking to make his way in NASCAR. I don't know how Trackhouse is going to make this work. You got four drivers under contract, two seats. Once again, I don't know if they're going to plan to get a new charter, maybe two charters. If they know something, if they're waiting for the new TV deal to come out, I'm really not sure what their strategy, their play is here, but it's like a game of musical chairs. You got four people walking around, but there's two chairs. So um, I really don't know what that situation is going to play out. Later in the article, it did talk about the colleague number 10 Xfinity car. Um, it seems like SVG may be making some starts in that car. Uh, they have ties there with Trackhouse already. As I said, Trackhouse is a Chevrolet team. They've got ties to Nice Motorsports in the Truck Series, which is who SVG made a start with in August. And then, of course, they will have a car for SVG in the Cup Series. As for the Xfinity Series, that was the biggest question, but colleagues seemed like the place because they do have that all-star car. We've seen Cup Series regulars in that car. We've seen Ross Chastain, who races for Trackhouse in it. We've seen Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, other Chevrolet drivers. So it would not surprise me to see SVG in that car. Um, but the big thing I just wanted to talk about is that SVG does plan on going to the Cup Series in 2025. That's what he wants to do. Obviously, we'll see how he does in 2024. This is no guarantee. He still has to perform. And if he still needs some more time to develop, they'll give him that time. Um, but then if he does, you know, knock it out of the park, runs really well, how will Trackhouse incorporate him into their 2025 plans? You know, they've still got a year to plan. They've still got a year either to get a charter, figure things out. But the four guys looking for two seats is just my big question. How is Trackhouse going to approach this? But that's the latest on Shane Van Gisbergen. We haven't talked about him in a while. Um, but thanks for watching this video. Any other updates on the channel, I'll put in the community post. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a live stream this week. I might, if it happens, it'll be early in the week. Uh, but thanks for watching this video. Check the post for updates. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day, night, morning, wherever you are.